Hello guys, it's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley. Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, two-part tutorial. Um, it is a tutorial on how to choose color palettes for your drawings. Uh, this first part is going to be specifically directed towards people who are starting out with Copics. Um, and I'm just doing a little uh, tutorial on how to choose your Copic colors. Um, a lot of people ask me uh, how I chose the ones that I use, and um, I thought it was kind of interesting that people would ask that. Um, uh, so let's see. Um, this right here is a Copic color chart. Um, this is a double-sided poster. They're free at most art stores that offer Copic markers. Um, this one is out of date because there have been two sets released since this one has been um, printed. Um, and this is one that I would use, especially if you if you reproduce your artwork in print, because this is as accurate as the colors will look on paper um, after they've been printed. And uh, I mean, there's obviously variations between the different kind of paper you use, the scanner, the um, the thickness of the color that you lay down on the paper itself, and also um, like whether it's been blended or not. Uh, but this is really helpful actually for um, helping pick colors if you're a print artist. Um, because it'll show you how much of a brightness it will have. Um, yeah, so this is what I use when I'm planning when I'm planning a printed piece such as um, like these bookmarks. Um, so yeah, and then there's also the Copic color wheel, um, which is right here. This is the color wheel version of this, basically. And I use this when I'm picking out new markers um, to see where my Copic marker collection needs balance. Um, basically, it's a color wheel and it's a marker list all in one. And here, I'll try and pull this out so you can see it. Um, and I will probably talk about this in the next video too, because I use it when I'm working on my backgrounds and with lighting and uh, all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, this is a really good tool, and it came in the Copic catalog that looks like this, and it's also um, in older things too. And this catalog's pretty cool; it has art in it and stuff. Like, um, Like Amy Reader Hadley, who is so amazing. She's so good. And Keope, I think that's how you say their name. Um, yeah, and then Terrell Whitlatch, who did all the creatures for Star Wars. She's a really amazing artist, too. And there's a lot of other artists in here. Collage artists, Star Wars. Anyway, this video isn't really about talking about um, the different artists in this book. I just got sidetracked. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I use for um, choosing my Copic markers. I also have this, I also have this um, hand color chart. You have to find new versions of it all the time though because they keep updating how many colors they have so like this is the oldest version that they have printed out and it's just a blank chart that you fill your markers in and um, it's good for if you have a lot of these printed out on the different types of paper you normally use um, I actually this is only printed on copier paper um, but I plan to print some more out on the paper that I normally use my markers with, because right now I have this homemade one. <laughs> and another good thing to do with Copic markers 
and uh, any other type of marker or any medium that you use really is to make a practice sheet. Practice um, with the different colors, the different kinds of materials that you use. Um, like for instance, this is testing the different ink pens that I use on this paper because sometimes ink pens will work on one paper and not on another. Um, seeing how much these two different kinds of markers I use bleed with pencil and uh, then how how well pencils erase I haven't tested this part yet um, let's see how much it bleeds like for instance this is a mixture of Tria pen and Copic marker Copic marker is in the blue and Tria is in the pink and when they blend together they look really nice but they bleed a lot and um, Trias tend to bleed on this paper more than the Copics do and then this is blending how nicely the colors blend together um, I don't know this is a really good idea to do um, but that's uh, part one basically um, I will be leaving a link in the description below about CopicColor.com, which is the online Copic website for artists to network and uh, post your art. And also there's a really cool tool on there where you can make your Copic marker wish list and um, you can also list your collection. And I've been getting a lot of people asking me what markers I have, and I have well over 100 markers and I don't have time to list them all in one video. So I will send you to my Copic Color um, profile so that you can uh, check out my collection there because I, I just I would love to list all my markers because I love to obsess over them you know but <laughs> um, there's so many of them that I just couldn't do it in one video. So check out that link and then um, also I will be leaving a link to part two once that is up also. Um, thank you guys and I'll see you in a bit.